Do you love Hobby Lobby just as much as I do? Half the time I go in just to get tons of inspiration. And of course, I do end up buying some of the pieces because some of their sale prices cannot be beat. But today you are in luck because I am going to share with you how you can recreate some of their really awesome fall pieces with a fraction of your dollars. Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I create farmhouse inspired decor using majority of Dollar Tree or other affordable items. But if you're not new, hey doll, hey! Today's video is all about inexpensive, quick, and gorgeous. I have 10 easy DIYs for you today that are going to be really inexpensive for you to make, but you're going to have fun making them and they're going to look beautiful in your home. So if you do continue to enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you give me a big thumbs up because it definitely helps with my channel's growth. If you're new, love what you see, and also love the, all things home decor DIY on a budget, I would also appreciate if you consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload. So I'm really excited about this video. It is my first fall or new fall video of the season, and I'm super excited to be getting into the seasonal crafting season. And I have a few new techniques that I am trying in this video. I also have a free printable for you guys, my first ever. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so starting off, we're gonna create these leather label pumpkins, and I really love how these turned out. So I actually picked these up at a store called Bargain Hunt near me. Um, I'm not sure if it's anywhere outside of the state of Georgia, um, but these were only $4 each, and I got them after fall last season, and they were just really cheap and inexpensive. I think they were like 75% off. So what I'm gonna do is remove the labels, and then I'm gonna use my um, Waverly chalk paint in white to paint one of them, and then the other one I'm gonna use some honey stain um, wood stain from Verathane and I did just one coat of the stain and two cuts two coats of that white paint and I also did the sides of each of those pumpkins I let those sit to dry for a few hours and this is what they look like after they're complete and um, I'm actually wanting to do some like faux shiplap lines usually when I do faux shiplap lines I I um, score my lines before I actually paint them. So this was actually an afterthought or I just have pregnancy brain and I totally forgot to do it. So I did it after I painted it and it just did not look right. I think because the wood, it wasn't like, it's like, it's real wood. So it just didn't look all great. So what I ended up doing was taking some hazelnut chalk paint and a chippy brush and kind of just distressing along those faux shiplap lines just to give it a little bit more dimension. It actually worked out a lot better than I had hoped. So moving on, I actually cut out with my Cricut some brown leather. This is faux leather. This is actually from the Dollar Tree and I cut it out on my Cricut. It is pretty thin so if you do do it on your cutting machine, just put it on a strong grip mat. I also cut out two words, thankful and blessed, also on my Cricut Explore 3. And um, then I just put them over onto the front side of each of those leather labels. It's pretty easy, <laughs> just put it over there. And then I hot glued them onto the front of each of those pumpkins. Um, also with the Hobby Lobby style pumpkins, they had some kind of black nails holding the sides down. So I decided to paint the heads of some gold thumbtacks. You can get those at Dollar Tree. I really got mine at the Home Depot. I've had them for years. And then I just pushed them into um, the sides of each of those labels. But that's it for these. I think they're really adorable. It was super easy to create. I hope you can find some wood pumpkins like this, even if you can't. I know Dollar Tree has some signs that you can maybe double up some of the pumpkins. Cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Next up, I'm making these uh, napkin rings. It's my first time making napkin rings and I'm excited at how they came out. So from Dollar Tree, I have this, this decor table scatter or something. It's like, they're kind of like glass pumpkins. They're different colors. And then I have some of these smaller wood rings from the, the Dollar Tree's Crafter Square section. And all I did was alternate the colors and I hot glued four of those pumpkins on the ring. And it was really easy. <laughs> that was That's pretty much it for this pair. And then I'm going to do a pair of um, leaf napkin rings with some wood um, beads. So these are 20 millimeter 
um, wood beads. And then I'm using two of those leaves from the pack from the Dollar Tree, as well as some jute twine from the Dollar Tree as well. So um, the easiest way to fish through beads through a piece of twine is to get like a threading needle. If you don't feel like um, hot gluing the end or taping it together, I think the threading needle is just the easiest. So all I did was thread it through 10 of those beads and then a double tied it off in the back and then hot glued it down just to secure it right into place and then cut down my twine um, off of the of the excess then I have these words that say home and family and I absolutely love using these wood letters I get them from Amazon they're linked to my Amazon store in my description box below and I also use some wood um I'm sorry, not wood, some super glue gel to put those down. And I always get them on my fingers, so I use these tweezers from Cricut so I don't get it on my fingers because I get tired of it, my fingers getting stuck together. Anyways, I just placed those down, and I did two that say, one that says give thanks, and then I did another pair that says home and family, and I just used the same super glue gel. So, so sorry, you guys, if I sound super crazy. I'm still really sick, but I'm coming towards the end of it so just pray that it is a healthy way to the finish line <laughs> but anyways that's all for these i really love how they came out super simple but will look really nice if you have like a friends giving or family over for dinner you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be all right Next up, I'm making these Hello Pumpkin sign duos. I really love how these turned out, and I've wanted to make them for a while. So I just have two of the seasonal signs from the Dollar Tree. I keep these on hand all the time. And I just remove the twine on the back, as well as the staples and whatever else I need to do. I sand down the area where the staples were on one of the signs. And on the second sign where those holes are, I just fill it in with some wood filler. Usually the wood filler goes on pink and it dries um, like natural brown, but mine is just all brown. But it still works just fine. Um, so then for one of the signs, I'm going to paint them white and use the other one. I'm going to paint ink, both Waverly chalk paint. And then from Amazon, I got this pack of square wood dowels. I will link them down in my description box below. If they're not, if it's not down there, just remind me. I mean, just comment and I will put it down there. But I'm going to do my best to put it down there. Anyways, I'm using those to make a border, and all I did was just line two of them up on the sides, and then one on the top and the bottom to measure it out to see where I needed to cut it down, and I just used my miter saw to cut those down, and then when I cut it down, I just measured it out to get the second um, size for it, and that's pretty much it. So um, after I did the two pairs for that, because it's two signs, then I just sand it down where the wood filler was on this that sign, and then painted both of my signs. Like I said, one white and one black, and then I also painted my um, wood dowels. I use actually this um what is this dark walnut stain from Verathane, and I just used a foam brush to paint that or to stain that, and then just wiped it down with a napkin. I like to just um, stain three sides because it makes it easier for me to hot glue it down when I'm ready. So once everything is ready, I also went to my Cricut and cut out the phrase Hello Pumpkin. I did the white one with some like aqua color <laughs> letters and then the br the black one is just white letters. So I'm using a combination of wood glue and hot glue to adhere my wood dowels down to my sign. A couple the ones on the side are hanging off just a bit because I measured them incorrectly when I first cut it out but it all still worked out I was still able to get everything down I just kept going until <laughs> it looked the way that it was supposed to look and I just did the same thing hot glue and wood glue to attach everything y'all I sound really bad and I'm like pausing in between each like statement because I'm like coughing like I am just going to cough up a lung or something <laughs> anyways <laughs> after I put down my border I then turn it to the back and cover it with my brown craft paper because I just hate unfinished backs I just that's just a pet peeve of mine I know you might not be able to see it but I know it's there <laughs> and then after that's done then I just put over I transfer over my phrase hello pumpkin um onto the sign and because I have some void space at the top I decided to cover that up but you can keep the sign the way that it is I just hate void spaces so I took this 
um, fall grass that I got from Walmart. Just took a few of the sprigs off and then hot glued a pumpkin right on top. And that's it for this one. And this is what my black and brown one looks like. I think they're adorable. And I really want to sell these. So I might just make a ton more. If you want to buy it from me, let me know. DM me or message me or email me. I got your boo. <laughs> Sir, I want to stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. I promise I won't. For the next DIY, I'm making this pick pumpkins crate super easy y'all just take a crate from the dollar trees crafter square section and then take a piece of mdf sign cut out just a small square that'll fit right on the front of the crate i painted the crate white all sides as well as partially inside of the crate and i just gave it one good coat and then i painted that um mdf square i'm um, using my hazelnut chalk paint um, it's still brown on brown, but the hazelnut color is a lot lighter and it makes it have more of like a wood look effect to it. Um, then after everything was dry, I just took my finger sander and just sanded down both pieces just a little bit um, so I can get that more faded kind of look. And then I also went to my Cricut Joy and cut out the phrase, uh, pick your pumpkins, $1.25. And I had some trouble transferring a piece over. So I just went back to it and just, you know, put put it back the way that it was supposed to. It all worked out just fine. And then after that, I just hot glued the, the sign onto the front of the crate. That's it. Dress it up however you like. And you got a really cute crate for like a tear tray or just wherever, like a space on the shelf. I think it's really cute. Next up, I'm making this pretty pumpkin sign, and this is where you can get your free printable. It's in my description box below. So from Target's Dollar Spot last fall, I purchased this sign that had some pieces on the inside. It was $3, and then, of course, I printed this um, page out. Um, I did use a sublimation printer, so on another video, I will show you how I am able to transfer it over, like a heat transfer. But if you don't want to do that, you could just print it out the way that I did with my printer. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I just took all the contents out, flipped it over, took off the hangers, and then what I'm going to do is just um, mark it down so I can cut it down. I didn't cut it down all the way. I hate sometimes when I try to like measure something, mark it down, and it's just not right, and it just does not go the way that I want it. So this DIY took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, <laughs> but anyways, I just applied a generous amount of Mod Podge onto the back of the sign, um, and then put it inside of the the sign, the wood sign now, and then I had to use my a Cricut like wedge wedger squeezier squeezer thing <laughs> to smooth it all out because it just wasn't go down, and then I had to use my like finger knife to cut down the sides. It just took way longer than I wanted it to. I don't know why. Sometimes when I eyeball trying to cut it stuff down, it just is too short. And so anyways, it had a few tears on a couple of the corners, but I hid one of the corners. So it should be fine. It turned out fine. Then I actually took that Hello Fall wood phrase that was in this pack and I painted that using my crystal color chalk paint and I gave that two coats. I thought that was a perfect color for this colorful pumpkin sign. Then I took my white chalk paint and painted the top of the trim of the sign because I just thought that it brought it all together. If you have the sign or something, something like it you can keep it brown if you want but I just thought that the cohesiveness of the white trim looked way better then I actually um the back of this phrase actually is adhesive so I just had to tear off the backing of it and just put it right in there I put it right in the center of the sign and I actually painted one of the pumpkins that came in it because I thought I wanted to put that on like the corner but I just put like a natural color pumpkin on there to hide my little tears <laughs> but this how it turned out i think it's really cute and i love this printable and i hope you enjoy it too for my last diy today i'm making this pumpkins trio and this is actually my favorite my absolute favorite um, Hobby Lobby inspired piece. So from Dollar Tree, I took three of these pumpkins. I've had these on hand since last year. That's why there's only one of those smaller pumpkins. You can find all of these at the Dollar Tree though. So I just took apart 
everything. I really hate these standing pumpkins because they have all this glitter on them. I just did not feel like cleaning it. So you know me, I'm grabbing my brown craft paper and I'm just going to cover everything and cut it down to size. And that is exactly what I did for all three of these. Your girl was not playing. I cannot stand the, the Dollar Tree glitter. I don't understand. They listen to us and they see our videos with all of the farmhouse like look and everything that we have. Why don't they listen to us about this glitter, y'all? Somebody write them tell them what i said remove the glitter let go of the glitter boo it's not it's not it's not worth it <laughs> anyways after all my pumpkins are clean i'm going to take a different take on each of these pumpkins so for the smallest pumpkin i'm going to use these 16 millimeter half wood beads and all i'm going to do is just hot glue them onto the edge of the pumpkin you can use wood glue if you want a more permanent hold but for video purposes and for my time boo <laughs> to use hot glue and just do it all the way around then for my mid-sized pumpkin i'm actually going to draw or trace my lines on here first um so this is the inspiration piece from hobby lobby that i am going for um and it does it's not exact but it's a nice inspired piece right so all i did was just trace what i saw on here to the best of my ability and just kept going until, you know what, my eyes were happy with it. Tell me what, what you wanna do, I'll do anything. After I'm done with the tracing, I actually am using a brand new technique I've never used before. And I'm just going to use hot glue to trace over what I just traced. I tried to do this freehand with the hot glue, but it just didn't work out. And tracing it um, with a pencil actually, or yeah, writing it um, with a pencil actually helped me trace it with the hot glue a lot better. And then what I'm doing also is making sure that all of my flyaway pieces are not on my pumpkin face because when once you paint over this, you'll see all of the little flyaways on there. So make sure you end and begin at a right air at an area where you can pick up the little flyaway. And yeah, I just kept going until it looked the way that I wanted it to. Now for my largest pumpkin that's going to go in the back, I'm going to paint that using my truffle colored chalk paint. And then I'm also going to go over it with some hazelnut colored chalk paint um, and do a heavy distressing. For the other two pumpkins, I'm going to paint those white and I gave those two coats. After I painted the white pumpkins and then I went over the larger pumpkin with that hazelnut color, I went back over it with some white chalk paint and just did a light distressing with my chippy brush just so I can get more of the colors a little bit blended to make it look more like a kind of like a wood grain. Um, I should have used some black in there because I know black helps with the wood grain effect as well. Um, but I'm letting that dry and then I'm going to go to my hot glued pumpkin, uh, my hot glue design pumpkin, take a small chippy brush and some hazelnut and just brush, lightly brush over those raised pieces and edges. And I think it turned out fabulous. I mean, look at what you can do with a pencil and some hot glue, y'all. Everything you already have on hand. This was so fun to create, and I'm so happy that I was ambitious enough to do it. <laughs> then um, after that was done, I went to my larger pumpkin and took my finger sander and did a heavy um, sanding over that. So that way I can get that more of a wood grain look. Um, after that was done, then I just um, arranged my pumpkins the way that I wanted, sanded down some of the edges where they needed to be sanded down. And I just hot glued the middle pumpkin on top of that larger pumpkin in the back. And I kind of raised it a little bit because it was kind of just a little too short. And then I just used one of the stands that the the standing pumpkin, pumpkins came on and just hot glued that right on top. And then secured it in the back with some dowel rods that I you know, have on hand that are just kind of like scrap pieces and then hot glued the smaller beaded pumpkin right onto the front and just spot painted where I need it to. But that's pretty much it. I did end up wrapping this with twine a couple of times. Um, I did not do a bow in the front because it just didn't look right for me. Um, I did that off camera, but you'll see it in the reveal. But yeah, I just kept going until it looked sturdy enough for me to be able to stand up in my home. And that's it. I really Really love how this turned out super adorable i definitely have to try to do more like hot glued 
painted pieces or something. I love this one. Let me know which one happens to be your favorite or if you enjoy doing Hobby Lobby inspired dupes just as much as I do. I swear that I'll stay here with you. that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and a big shout out to all of you that are already subscribed all 25,000 and growing of you i really appreciate all your support and your love and your continued watching liking and commenting until the next video be safe and be blessed and i'll see you on the next one bye give me all your love give me all your love Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love.